Hello everyone and welcome to another Met Project presentation. Today's topic in your anatomy is the skull base. Let's begin. Here is a visual of the skull base highlighted in yellow. Five bones make up the base of the skull, which include the ethmoid, sphenoid, occipital, paired frontal and paired temporal bones. Shown here are the extracranial and intracranial views of the skull. The two lines highlighted in red and yellow represent the endocranial and exocranial surfaces respectively. Endocranial surface faces the brain while the exocranial surface faces the nasal and mouth cavities. Important landmarks to note within the endocranium include the sphenoid ridge and the petrous ridge. There are also three fossae or depressions within the base of the skull including anterior fossa, middle fossa, and posterior fossa. Within the middle fossa, highlighted in the yellow circle, is the cellar and paracellar region. As mentioned earlier, five bones make up the skull base, and here's a clear illustration showing these bones. Highlighted in blue is the frontal bone. In yellow is the sphenoid bone. In orange is the ethmoid bone. In gray is the temporal bone. In red is the occipital bone. You can pause the video here if you'd like and review what we talked about so far. Moving on, let's discuss some of the anterior fossa foramina. Shown on the screen, highlighted within the blue circle is the foramen cecum. Highlighted within the yellow circle is the foramina of cribriform plate. In orange is the anterior ethmoidal foramen. In purple is the posterior ethmoidal foramen. And finally, in red is the orbitomeningeal foramen. Middle fossa foramina include the superior orbital fissure, optic canal, foramen rotundum, foramen ovale, foramen spinosum, and foramen lacerum. Posterior fossa foramina include Dorello's canal, internal auditory meatus, jugular foramen, hypoglossal canal, and foramen magnum. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for more content in the future. Med Project signing off.